He's still on duty. <laughs> he must have recovered quickly. Let's go say hi! Welcome back to the administrative district, Trailblazers. Trailblazers! First time anyone's called us that on this planet! <laughs> the architects think it's only right that we should address you properly. Outsiders is hardly fitting anymore. Uh, please allow me to apologize again for what happened in the restricted zone. You were only trying to help. I should have trusted Serval's judgment. Thanks for understanding. Lady Branya's inaugural address will begin soon. She asked me to pass on her invitation to you. Uh-huh. That's sooner than I expected. Is she well enough to... Not really. But Lady Branya insisted on delivering the speech as soon as possible. She wants the people to understand what happened. The address will be held at Everwinter Monument. I hope the three of you can find time to attend. Well, I... Okay. Oh, look. Done. Wow! Did you see that, Clara? A super, super big steel monster just ran past. I don't think that's a monster. Mr. Sparrow's database has information about it. It's called. Hmm. I can't remember. Don't worry about the name. The important thing is I saw what it can do. It has a huge appetite and swallows people whole. And it just so happens to be the mole's next target. <laughs> we'll defeat the iron monster and save the people in its tummy. Um, I don't think that's how it works. She's gonna cause trouble in this uh, sea. Look, there's a crowd gathering over there. Is the address starting soon? Hmm. Looks like it. Branya hasn't arrived yet, though. Hmm. Let's find somewhere to wait. Whoa, this must be it. Citizens of Bellabog, I kindly ask for your attention. Lady Branya Rand's inaugural address will begin shortly. Please remain orderly. People of Bellabog, hear me. Wow, another CG. Man, to be honest, yeah, they re up the game. For this game, compared to what uh, Genji started, uh, that rough. But here, is much better. Today we gather here to celebrate our victory, but it was a sacrifice made by a mighty guardian that delivered us this opportunity. She dispelled an evil that cost us 700 years of suffering, and in the process, she paid the ultimate price. The sacrifice. Of Kokolia Rand ushers in a new chapter. The blizzard beyond the walls will die away, and the offensives of our Silvermane guards will begin to contain the Fragmentum's advance. In the far north, I witnessed with my own eyes the struggle between the late Supreme Guardian and the evil power that sought to destroy us. In her last moments, the Supreme Guardian told me her greatest regret. The Order to seal off the underworld from the overworld. With the passage of time, she gradually came to realize the consequences of that decision. Although tortured with guilt, she could not undo the damage. In her final moments, 
She wanted us to mark the Stellaron's end by reuniting Bellabog. Overworlders and underworlders must embrace the dawn of a new age. Together. People of the underworld. I dare not ask for your forgiveness. I now know the reality of your decade of suffering. Yep, we, the heroes of the world, just stayed in our side. Did they really put that sound effect for Mars 7 the dead game? This is a 10 out of 10 game. I'm not be surprised if this is gonna win over games in, in the game I was for some reason. But I want us to work together. We know that without your perseverance and hard work, Bellabog will not recover its former glory. And the seed of civilization will not be preserved. And on that note, I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to a few guests of the city. Most of you were not aware of their arrival. But it is thanks to them that our world now flourishes with hope. They made me realize that while we remain focused on preserving the ground beneath our feet, we should not forget to look up into the sky. I firmly believe that with the determination of everyone, our world, the world the trailblazers call Yarilo Six, will no longer be alone among the stars. Look so in the crowd. But before we accomplish that goal, I humbly ask you to follow me into the future. I, Branya Rand, the 19th Guardian of Bellabog, hereby take my oath. Lady Branya! Lady Branya! Long live Bellabog! We're back! March, Don Hung, and you. It's wonderful you made it to the address. Sorry, I know the invitation was very last minute, but I needed to get the news out as soon as possible. The longer people waited, the more rumors started to swirl. The situation risked spinning out of control. Yes, I'm fine now, don't worry. My mother... She tried to force the voice of the Stellaron into my head. It was a terrible feeling. I, I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. That was some speech, Branya. If I had to talk like that in front of a huge crowd, I'd be shaking head to toe. It was all just a bunch of palatable lies. I hope you never have a similar experience, March. Hmm, I prefer to be honest with the people. But I also want to preserve their hope. Don Hung, wanna... Talk about Mr. Yang's findings? Mm. Allow me to explain. Which means... The Fragmentum has already taken root by this point. Even though the Stellaron is sealed... We won't be able to reverse the damage immediately. ancestors wouldn't have risked using one if they'd had other ways of avoiding calamity. You've gone out of your way to save this world. 
You nearly lost your life. I have no right to ask for more. Besides, I agree with Mr. Yang. Ultimately, the fate of Bellabog is in the hands of its own people. In that case, as a leader, I must give you a promise of the same weight. We will hold out with everything we have until the day you trailblazers return. Even if it takes another 700 years, the children of Yarilo 6 will look up to the sky with hope in their hearts. So long, my friends. May the preservation bless your journey. Congrats! That was one heck of a first trailblazing expedition! You can say that again. Worth celebrating, I'd say. Two and a half. What? That run of the mill, huh? Hmm. My scoring criteria are different from yours. <sighs> anyway, we should be asking you. Any thoughts you want to share? Equally unforgettable, I'm sure. Anyway, don't worry about the future. Live in the moment. Let's go for one more round in the administrative district. I want to take more photos. Huh? Oh, now we unlock this? Yeah. Aside from relic farming, you have to farm for this. Ugh. I don't know why it was in their mind to change this, like the system was perfect for having six slots and you can actually put the three slots of two effects. But there has to be a reason. Huh? Oh come on! Yeah. Well, guys, I may accidentally have my internet die for a higher day. But we back. But first, let me re equip or try to equip the two. said she's willing to wait 700 years for us. Huh. Don Hung, how long can humans live for? Mm. Forever. But in that scenario, they can't be considered human anymore. Yikes, so serious. I was just curious. Well, aside if they have some kind of secret backstory or something, I guess for 100 years or so. But look with what we have here. We are. Everwinter Monument. Photo time. Oh, Pela and Hook are here too. Let's make sure we get them in the background. We may speak with Pela, like one interaction we have. One.
it's warm here. Aren't you overworlders worried it'll melt? Not at all. It may look like ice, but it's actually a monument carved out of Geomero crystal. Ah, oh, Geomero! It's a shame Daddy isn't here. He'd find a buyer for it and sell it for big bucks. Uh, how do I explain? This particular piece of Geomero is definitely not for sale. A photo? What's that? Hook wants to see it! I must remind you that taking photos of others without gaining their permission violates Bellabog Public Security Ordinance number... Wait, that's a nice picture. And it's crystal clear. Wow, photos are awesome. I can hook have it. <laughs> you like it? It's yours. A farewell gift from us. Okay, where to next? Oh, we haven't seen Serval since we got back. Let's head to the workshop. You know what I mean. <laughs> Who's there? Didn't your parents tell you to knock before? <laughs> it's you three! Come on in! I was just talking to Clara about you. How have you been, big sister? Mr. Vall's workshop is amazing! There are all kinds of things. I like it here a lot. Miss Serval? Clara is such a well-mannered kid. Meanwhile, the architect's children are still calling me auntie and making me feel old. Auntie. Hey, that's not your line. We're here to take a photo, remember? Photo? This feels like one of my fan meetups. <laughs> anyway, for you guys, I do autographs for free. Photo. Oh, I remember. When I was little, Mr. Sparrow took a photo for me. Over here, Clara. Want to learn some cool poses? <laughs> She's a bad influence. This is actually nice. Wow, that's pretty great. I wish the photographers at my shows had your skills. Huh? Am I really that short? I thought... <laughs> Don't worry. If you eat like Don Hung, you'll be as tall as him one day. <laughs> uh... I'll let that slip. Here, keep it. A little farewell gift from the Astral Express. Huh? You're leaving so soon? I understand. Well, this photo will always be close to my heart. I'll make a copy for you too, Clara. Th thanks, Miss Serval. Big sister, March, Dunhung. Thanks for taking care of me. Safe travels. If you have time, please come back and visit me and Mr. Sparrow. Oh, what is Odi? <sighs> That's enough sightseeing and photo taking to last me a while. Time to head back to the Goethe Hotel for a good night's sleep. We can sleep when we're back on the express. Not so fast. Last time we were here, that evil Madam Guardian interrupted us before we'd gotten the most out of our luxury suites. Don't you think we should make up for it? Come on. Kimiko and Mr. Yang are grown-ups. I'm sure they'll cope without us for one night. Besides, don't you want to chit-chat with the locals now that Bellabog is full of life again? I know I do. No other surprise? 
At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. It was a close thing, all right. Good thing it dawned on me. Hey, Sampo doesn't have to be a protagonist, right? <laughs> the likes of us are better suited to, uh, shadowy comic relief, eh? Don't tell me he was behind some kind of mastermind behind all this. All. He's somewhat related to some kind of secret organization. Turns out the Astral Express crew is more fun than I expected. <laughs> you, you liked it? Really? <laughs> Told you so. Why are you talking to? No, no. I'm in no hurry to leave. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, Epsilon? <laughs> What fun can you get out of a giant vanity fair like that? <laughs> True happiness always entails the manifestation of the dignity of mankind. Now that's a quote I live by. We're not gonna... We're gonna keep seeing him, aren't we? When I thought we're not gonna see him ever. Well, bye for now. Send my regards to the guys and girls in the tavern. Oh, and don't forget to say that Sampo Kaski will catch them for the next one. Time to make my curtain call. To you, my dear audience, I dedicate my performance. I wonder, did I bring a little more joy into your lives? <laughs> dear, okay, I'm gonna use that meme this guy is the most annoying out of the bunch and he, is he breaking the forward you don't have to answer that but if the answer is no then you'll break my heart hey it's not gonna be the only thing i'm gonna break back to the express time to find march and dan hung Scare her. Gusta. Uh, maybe I'm gonna do the side quest. Nah. I'm gonna do the purple ones. Maybe. 